I was in Cote d'Ivoire. I led uh, some observer teams uh, to observe the election, the last one. And in fact, the coming election, again, I'm leading a group to observe in that country. I led the, a team to observe the last Nigerian election. And the one before that, too, I led the team to observe. So I've seen what faulty elections can do to otherwise peaceful people. Ghana has escaped so far some of the uh, devastations that overtook those lands. We pray it, they don't happen here in Ghana. And so uh, I'm with you entirely, completely, that the Electoral Commission should not plead excuses like cleaning the register. And we've come to the point, and it's a new Electoral Commission, our Chair of Commission. I hope she will start her tenure with a very clean slate. And that would command the respect across the board. At the end of the day, if the citizenry are satisfied that uh, the processes, procedures have been clean, and whoever wins, we all support, we will we'll follow, because that would be our govern government. And then governance, we hope, would be inclusive for, of all of us. But if we should move on a faulty system, thinking that, uh, oh, the Ghanaians are so tolerant and they would accommodate. We never know where the spark might come from. Uh, what transpired in a place like Tunisia not too long ago couldn't have been envisaged at all till it happened. And there, there are countless numbers of such uh, surprises taking place all over on our continent. So, I, 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 as I said, I would add my voice to all those demanding that we start afresh with a, a fresh register. It should be the citizens as defined by the Constitution of Ghana uh, using their entitlement and they are entitled. They are votes to select their representatives, whether they are going to be president or they are going to be uh, members of parliament or even the district assembly, whatever. The, the, the citizenry are entitled and the electoral commission is a service institution, even though the constitution talks of independent. It cannot be independent from accounting to the citizenry of Ghana. So I believe the electoral commission should listen. Uh, what happened? Well, I was away from Ghana for quite some time, we, but we heard internationally that uh, uh, some people had been beaten up um, I was wondering whether those people had been uh, rioters, you know, being violent. And apparently there was no violence. So I'm surprised the otherwise normally well-behaved police of Ghana should resort to measures uh, that have cost a handsome young man an eye. Uh, it's not good. It's not correct. And they shouldn't be condoned at all. So I will add my voice to yours. I would plead with the Electoral Commission to take a step back and think and think again. And I appreciate the heavy responsibility on the Commission for the peace, stability, and the future of our country. So uh, it's, that's the right thing for the people of Ghana. I don't think the cost is too much. The cost shouldn't be too much, and it would be a worthy cost uh, for everybody to add their voice to, even if we have to go and then borrow money from somewhere to get a good register, a clean, true register reflecting the legitimacy and authenticity of it uh, for Ghana to grow its government on. So um, you don't need to plead with me. You, you are stating what you feel should be done for our country uh, and you are entitled to do that and I'm supporting your right to demand. I will add my voice and I will also ask the Electoral Commission to do the right thing for Ghana.